With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, the graph of h x and the shown is shown in the figure above. If h x is equal to minus g x plus one, then which of the following statement is true? And the options are the range of h x is a minus five less than minus three less than equal to three. Minus three less than equal to one less than equal to three, and the, the second option is the minimum value of h x is four, and the third option is the coordinates of point e on the function h x is two comma four, and uh, the fourth point is the graph of h x is increasing between x equal to minus five and x equal to minus two. Okay, and guys, and the graph looks like this. Okay, so for the first option, we need to find out what is the range of h x. Now, h x is equal to how much, guys? H x is equal to according to the definition here. H x is minus g x plus one. Okay. So, h s x one minus g x minus g x plus one is same as one minus g x. Okay. So, for uh, finding the range, we need to find out the maximum and minimum value of g x. Okay. The maximum value of h x will be when the minimum g x will attain its minimum value. Because g x is with negative sign here, so g x and h x will be inversely proportional. So when h x will attain its maximum value, g x will attain its minimum value. So what is the minimum value of g x? We need to get it from the curve. The minimum value of g x is, as you can see here, minimum value of g x is if this is minus one, this will be minus two. So this point here, the x point is minus five. So at g minus five, the value of g x is minus two. So minus two is the minimum value of g x. Okay, so I should write the right of g minus five. This is the minimum point. This is equal to minus two. Okay, so the minimum value of g x is minus two. So the maximum value of h x will be h x max will be one one minus of minus two. That is equal to three. Okay, so let us find the same the maximum value of g x. So again we need to see the curve. So the maximum value of g x is at point B, so this point. So um, what is the coordinate of what or what is the y um, coordinate of this point? This is one, this is two, this is three, then this is four. So as you can see, that the highest point here, the coordinate is something x, but x is not our concern here. The y part is our concern because the y part gives the value of g x. Okay, so this is equal to four. So the maximum value of g x will be g x will be maximum equal to four. This you got from the curve. So, the minimum value will be one upon minus of four. So one minus four is equal to how much? Minus three. So the range will be minus three less than equal to h x less than equal to three. So this will be the range of h x. So I guess our first option is true. Okay. Now let us check the rest of the options also. So the minimum value of h x is four. As you can see, if our the range is Minus three, so minimum value of h x is not cannot be four. So second option is automatically ruled out. Now let's move on to third option. The coordinates of point A on the function h x is two comma four. So what is point A? So let us find the coordinates of point A on g x. So if this is point A, what is the x x coordinate? One, two. Now since this is the negative part, so it will be minus one and minus two. So the coordinate, so the x coordinate of point A is minus two. This is all on g x, and the y coordinate will be the one. Two, three. So this will be plus three. So two comma minus minus two comma three will be is the coordinate on G X plane. So basically, G of minus two is equal to three because minus two comma three lies on G X. So instead of X, I will add the X part, and instead of Y, I will equate it to the G X part. So G of minus two is equal to three. Now, according to the definition of H X, H X is equal to one minus G X. So h of minus two will be equal to one minus g of minus two. Now I know the value of minus two. G of minus two is equal to three. So one of minus three that is equal to minus two. So h of minus two is equal to minus two. So the point minus two comma minus two will lie on uh, uh, will lie on h axis. So clearly this uh, third option is also not correct because the fourth because the y coordinate will not be four. It will be equal to minus two. We just calculated it. Okay. And also, the graph of h x is increasing between x equal to minus five and x equal to minus two. Okay. So, what about the graph of g x between x equal to minus five and x equal to minus two? 
yeah since the graph of gx is increasing but from the first option as i said here gx and hx will be inversely proportional when gx will be increasing hx will be decreasing so between if i minus 5 to minus 2 as you can see the graph of gx is increasing so hx will be decreasing so fourth option is also not true so the value of the graph of hx will be decreasing between x equal to minus 5 and x equal to minus 2 so only and only option 1 is true okay that is the range of hx is between minus 3 to 3 i hope you guys understood thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today